Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today, a cryptocurrency in New Zealand gets hacked, Ethereum Constantinople hard fork faces a critical vulnerability, and the Venezuelan government conducts another economic reform, this time on the country's native cryptocurrency, Petro. Stay tuned for more, I'm your host Hun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. Cryptopia, a New Zealand-based crypto exchange, announced today via Twitter that it has suffered a security breach resulting in significant losses. On January 13th, Cryptopia told its customers that the exchange is undergoing unscheduled maintenance. However, it was later discovered that the exchange's security was breached by a malicious actor which led to, quote, a significant loss. So far, Cryptopia is yet to disclose how the attack took place and how much was actually lost during the incident. According to its official announcement, the exchange stated that it has notified and involved the appropriate government agencies including the New Zealand Police and the High Tech Crimes Unit. With the case currently being handed over to the police, Cryptopia stated that it will remain in maintenance mode, suspending further trading services. The Constantinople hard fork of the Ethereum blockchain has been postponed until further notice due to a security vulnerability. The discovery was first made by a smart contract audit firm, Chain Security, which reported the vulnerability on its Medium blog just yesterday. According to the Post, the Constantinople upgrade, which includes a cheaper gas cost for the Ethereum network, included an unwanted side effect that enabled re-entrancy attacks when using the payment sharer contract, an automatic split payment function. Currently, without the upgrade, every storage operation would cost at least 5,000 gas. However, with the Constantinople upgrade, a user could update the storage during the upgrade to reduce the amount of gas required to 200. But the chain security team found that when using the payment sharer contract, an attacker could use the newly introduced gas reduction function to update the contract as the transaction is processed and repeatedly request funds while feeding false data to the network. To be specific, a payment sharer contract allows an automatic split of funds when making transactions, which was not updatable during the process of the transaction. However, with the update, an attacker could dupe the system by updating the contract as the transaction goes and introduce new variables within the initial contract to change the allocation of splitted funds. Simply put, during a transaction, an attacker could update the contract and change the allocation from the original receiver to another party. This vulnerability of the network was later confirmed by Afri Skeeden, the coordinator of the hard fork on his Reddit account. He stated that the core development team will decide what further steps by this coming Friday and that the hard fork will not take place this week. How much are you getting paid as a developer in the blockchain industry? CCN reported that although blockchain developers are experiencing a rise in their salaries, it has not led to an increasing number of developer jobs nor a migration to the crypto sector. On January 5th, Thomas Bertani stated on an interview with CCN that salaries of Swiss blockchain developers are on the rise, which currently stands around $15,000 a month. He stated that one major reason behind this phenomenon was a lack of highly skilled blockchain experienced developers. However, due to the high risk of getting involved in ICO projects, where a vast majority fail within the year or two, it is difficult for a developer to find a stable job in the cryptocurrency sector. Therefore, despite the large salary increases, developers are hesitant to move into the crypto industry. Venezuela announced the country's economic reform plan this Monday. The plan presented by the president of Venezuela, Maduro, included a four times increase of the country's current minimum wage and mandated use of petrol, the country's government-issued cryptocurrency. Over the past two years, Venezuela has been suffering from hyperinflation. According to Nikkei, the one-year inflation rate between 2017 and 2018 hit over 1.7 million percent in Venezuela. In 2018, in response to resolving the economic crisis, the Venezuelan government conducted a currency reform to issue the country's own native cryptocurrency, Petro. And just two days ago, Maduro, the president of Venezuela, announced his plans to boost the economy by increasing the minimum wage four times to 18,000 Bolivar Severum, approximately seven US dollars. 
He also mandated major public enterprises to sell 15% of its sales in the cryptocurrency petrol. The intention behind this economic reform is to improve the economy by increasing the circulation of the country's new currency. While the Maduro regime has made constant efforts to resolve the country's economic crisis by increasing the country's minimum wage every month, the efforts proved to have little effect as the situation has only worsened for the South American country. Unlike the past, on top of the minimum wage increase, the Venezuelan government has decided to include the mandatory use of petrol. However, taking the past record of Venezuelan government reforms into account, only time will tell if the new economic reforms will help the country or not. Bringing you the latest news, I'm your host Hun with the Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thanks for watching.